Well, we've been sparely spoiled recently with our temperatures outside being seasonable or below that for quite some time now. Sunday and Monday, that won't be the case. And part of Saturday as well is going to be a warm day too. But Sunday and Monday, that's where we're expecting dangerous heat with high temperatures getting close to the triple digits. And if you factor in the humidity, the heat index could be close to 105 to 110 at times. So it's going to be a warm stretch here as we get to the latter half of this week and starting early next week. So we're just going to go through the upper air pattern really quick. This is the middle of the atmosphere. You can see the darker colors and that ridge of high pressure. That's warm air coming in and then high pressure descending it to the ground, helping us warm up. So that high pressure is really where that warm air is going to be. Staying out west for the most part until Friday, we're at 90. Watch how it inches closer to us. That jet stream staying further north as well. That's allowing that warm air from the south to just keep creeping up. 95 on Saturday, high pressure continuing on Sunday, 98. And then also Monday, forecast that I have 98. So that high pressure, that middle level of the atmosphere, high pressure gets closer to us. Live dual pool Supler Doppler radar showing us those decaying showers. They're losing daytime heating, and now they're just fizzling out towards Audubon as you look towards northwest Missouri as well. This one just south of Hughes that completely fizzled out now, so we're not looking at any rain for uh, tonight or the overnight hours. 80 degrees right now, dew point at 68. That has risen quite considerably, actually, and the wind out of the east at around 3 miles per hour, so it might be a bit sticky if you're outside. 78 Nebraska City and Plattsmouth, along with Fremont and Tecama, eight, or excuse me, 72 in Harlan and 72 in York as well. Radar and satellite showing the remnants of what was Hurricane Barrel that's now towards Cincinnati right now, uh, creating some havoc over there where there's just a lot of moisture, a lot of spin in the atmosphere. Radar and satellite for us, pretty quiet, a few clouds out there, but most of us uh, just having clear skies as we go towards the overnight hours. 64, the morning low to start your day tomorrow. Hour by hour forecast as you go throughout the day. We do warm quite considerably, but there is that chance of a shower or maybe a storm as we go through the middle parts of the day. And then that high temperature right around the mid to upper 80s. 86 for us. Maybe Lincoln might be at 91. Beatrice and Fall City also might touch the 90s tomorrow. So storm predictor, just briefly, I'm going to show you this little disturbance that comes through tomorrow. There's 11 a.m. kicking up a few showers and storms, maybe near the Omaha Metro early in the morning. They pass south of us towards 3 p.m. There could just be showers and storms ongoing throughout the day around the viewing area, but I still don't think everyone will see it. If you're not under a storm, you're gonna see sunshine on Wednesday. That's why there's the little storm icon, but also you can see the big sun. So impact weather for the possibility of rain. Thursday and Friday still seeing a bit of sunshine. Saturday, that's when we really tick the temperatures up. 95 for that high temperature. And then once we go towards Sunday and Monday, those are our impact weather days with uh, high temperatures getting close to 100 degrees outside. And then Tuesday, we don't taper off too much. Not much relief. 93.